How hard can it really be to make a game in Unity? Unity is a game engine that has empowered game developers around the world to create some true masterpieces, including Hollow Knight, Ori in the Blind Forest, and even Cuphead. And it's always been a dream of mine to make my very own game in Unity. But honestly, the idea of sitting down and learning to code my own game from scratch fills me with fear and anxiety. But still, I love game design, and recently I've been trying to forget about perfectionism and just try. So in the spirit of remembering that it's okay to just have fun and make some smoking hot garbage, let's open up Unity and in one week try to go from complete game design spud to happy little hash brown. The first problem that I had to overcome was deciding what game to make. It had to be just challenging enough that it seemed worthwhile whilst also being fun enough to keep me motivated. And for me, nothing says simple yet fun like yeeting monkeys into outer space. So I set out to make a simple version of a monkey ball game. I mean, what could, what could go wrong? What, what does this do? Oh my god, there are instructions. <laughs> what the fuck? After dragging the windows around and wiggling this panel because that's all I could figure out how to do, I turned to the internet and quickly discovered how to create objects and launch a scene. However, we're not here to make a physics simulation, so I created a clean slate and imported the slippery version of a cube. And with the sphere in place, the time had come to write my first piece of code. It worked! It's alive! Well... Okay, maybe it didn't actually work, but I was shocked to discover that just one line of actual code later and I had a full range of movement over my sphere. And of course, I was suddenly overcome by my newfound coding power, went down a massive rabbit hole, and before I knew it, this was happening? Eventually I got back on track though and tried to create a simple level that captured some of the feel of a monkey ball game. I figured out how to make the level rotate side to side like a floppy fish, added simple collectibles and built a little goal to aim for at the end of the stage. I mean, it's nothing special, but it's actually starting to feel like a proper game. And with the level coming together, it was time to add some flourishes. The best part of the monkey ball games is when you reach the end of a level and your little monkey ascends into a higher dimension. I had no idea how to make this happen, but through trial and error, I figured out how to switch to another camera and then added a dummy sphere that had a set animation that shot it into the sky. It technically worked okay, but it was extremely jarring. So after more tweaking, I was able to get the second camera to look at the player whose velocity I adjusted using code. And then finally my little sphere could ascend into monkey ball heaven. I'm gonna miss you, little sphere. In all honesty though, the whole game felt like a giant elephant balancing on an edamame over a shark pit. But because I have no idea how to make a more stable game, instead I figured I could just make people notice less by making it look pretty. My initial plan was to create some basic assets using Blender, but I've never used Blender before and well... <laughs> My brain simply couldn't take trying to learn two pieces of complicated software in one week, so maybe I'll save Blender for another video. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not the sole inhabitant of this world, so I jumped into the Unity store in search of free assets made by more skillful humans to give life to my game. I tried searching for a monkey to put inside of my ball, but the best monkey I could find was this one. If this monkey doesn't come with a free lifetime subscription to hell and an ancient Egyptian mummy curse, I don't know what to tell you. Thankfully my search wasn't fruitless because I did manage to find this pretty sweet rubber duck asset pack. So I guess we're making super duck ball. I also found some low poly sky assets and water which I later turned into clouds and heck, it was all coming together. And it was at this point that I discovered the world of post-processing, which is basically a bunch of settings that add visual filters and color controls to your cameras to really make your game pop. Coincidentally, they also make my poor old laptop sound like a jet, run at 5 FPS and burst into flames. I seemed to find some decent enough settings and with the groundwork laid down, I slapped together some UI and Photoshop, designed a few more stages and my game was basically done. But we do still need to make some monkey ball inspired music for my game. Now, I flip and adore the monkey ball soundtracks. It's like rave music for top they're honestly some of my favourite pieces of video game music ever written. It's a lot to live up to, but I opened up GarageBand and slapped together my best attempt at an awkward preschool disco ball. And with the music done, everyone, here's my very first game made in Unity using actual real code. And its name is Super Duck Ball.
now that I've made a game in Unity, is it really that hard to do? 100%, this was definitely not easy. But I honestly think that the biggest barrier to creating this game has been myself. I'd always convinced myself that this is something I just couldn't achieve. And look, my game is no Hollow Knight, Cat Quest, or Overcooked, but I mean, it's still a real living, breathing game. So if this video does anything, I hope it inspires someone to take a leap of faith and start a creative project that they've been putting off. Creating things can be really terrifying, but I think it's okay to just have fun and make some garbage. You don't need to create something that's going to change the world, there's no best time to start, and the best that you can do right now is good enough. I'd really love to hear about your creative projects and your own struggles with creativity in the comments below. And why not check out some of my other videos? I've tried making Portal 3, Metroid Prime 4, and a bunch of other random stuff. And I think I'm about to lose my voice, so thanks for watching this video and have a great day!